Miracle was the first actually wild hatched and fledged condor down in Big Sur, California. Unfortunately, Miracle has a propensity to get into lead, so she's actually being treated here at Oakland Zoo for lead toxicity. And unfortunately, she's actually been treated several times before this. It's really unfortunate because these birds have made such a great comeback and they would be fine. They, we've shown that they can breed on their own, even in the wild. They can do the things that they need to do to survive. It's just this lead problem. If we could get rid of the lead, these birds would be on their own. The biologists out in the field trap up all the birds twice a year and they test all the birds for blood lead. And if their level is high, then they bring them to us for chelation therapy or treatment. Treating for lead toxicity involves giving a drug called calcium EDTA, which is a chelating agent. It's a pretty intensive treatment for a wild animal. The biggest thing that needs to be done is to make a change in the way that we hunt. And it's not stopping hunting. Hunting helps these birds because they can get some of this food that's left out there. It's just hunting without lead. There are other alternatives coming on the market and really pushing the manufacturers to stop doing lead. Let's make copper more available. Copper is inert, it passes right through. It's not a problem for the birds. And if it became more widely available, then people would be able to switch. The first time I ever saw a condor was in Pinnacles National Park and I was hiking up on the top of the Pinnacles and you see turkey vultures flying over and you see other hawks and they're soaring and they're beautiful. But then you see a condor and there's no mistaking it. It's like a giant dinosaur flying through the air and it's just an amazing sight to see. 